What's up everyone, my name is Frank, hope you're having a great day today. Welcome back to another Mega Mods review video. They have recently released a load of cool new features as well as customization options suiting a wide variety of gaming styles to a full-on esports ready controller, to a macro remap controller, to an advanced back button controller, to a modded controller, you name it. They have it, plenty of options. I am beyond impressed by this. Plenty of review videos to come as well. In today's video, I'll be showing off the advanced back button controller with mod capabilities. I'll be guiding you through the entire process of how to set up this controller and best utilize these new features to your advantage. Everyone smash that like button and let's get to a fun video. As always, I'll be leaving timestamps down below in the description so y'all can skip to our part of the video that you want to see first if you're interested in purchasing the control that i'm about to show off in today's video or any of the mega mods products for that matter make sure to click on my referral link found down below in the description it will automatically bring you to the web page and apply my 10 percent discount code for you for those of you who have already used my referral link shout out to you all is greatly appreciated thank you very much for the support i want all you amazing people to become part of my discord community i'll be using a link down below in the description for you all to join and you'll also see links to my social media so if you want to see what i'm up to when i'm not on youtube or you just want to say hi make sure to give me a follow and just a friendly reminder i do stream every saturday and sunday starting at 1 p.m eastern time so make sure to subscribe press that bell to be notified for future videos for those of you who have yet to smash that like button now's your chance smash it right now it's greatly appreciated and helps at the channel all right enough of me talking Let's get to unboxing. I am happy to show off for the very first time their new branded boxes, a huge improvement over the previous design. They opted to go with a matte soft touch finish, which I like a lot. Very clean, very simple design, but oh so very beautiful, vibrant colors, which I love. On one side of the box, we have their logo. On the other side of the box, we have a QR code. If scanned, it will bring up the online user manual. Getting with the times, I like that. And on the back of the box, additional controller information. I love the box. It is a beautiful design, but let's get to the good stuff. First up, we have the user manuals. This one is for the back paddles, how to remap them. You'll see two QR codes. If scanned, it will bring up the online user manual. Next up, we have the user manual for the mods. Each mod has a specific button combination that you need to do in order to apply it. So make sure you are referencing this user manual. Likewise, there is a QR code. If scanned, it will bring up the online user manual, but make sure you are referencing it at all times when applying the mods. Before I show off the controller design that I went with, I just want to say a huge shout out to everyone who voted. This controller design is thanks to you and voted by you. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I held a poll on social media, allowing you guys to choose your favorite superhero theme controller. I went with the two top picks. So this design is gonna be the first pick. The second controller review that I do will be the second pick. So you guys can probably already guess what will be the second controller theme. I'm very, very excited to show this off. Without further ado, drum roll please hey look at this bad boy yes indeed this is the spider-man theme i'm gonna put this to the side for just a second because i do want to say for those of you who added additional accessories with your controller design and build the accessories are going to be on the side right up here i have an extended usb cable and then this side over here i opted to go with the interchangeable thumbsticks. So if you guys freak out, where are your interchangeable thumbsticks? Do not worry, it's actually hidden in this compartment right there. I'll put that to the side. Let me clean this up. All right, I cannot get this out. Ooh, look at this. Oh my God, I am blown away at how this controller turned out. The colors are stunning and vibrant. The controller as a whole is beautiful. Pulls off the Spider-Man theme perfectly. Literally all that's missing is a Spider-Man logo in the center. Maybe some webbing down the side to complete the theme. Megamods, maybe you could introduce that further down the line. But nonetheless, I am blown away at how this controller turned out. Why, I'm very, very excited to put this controller to the test. Feels great. 
to hold as well. The buttons feel awesome. For those of you who have not watched my previous Mega Mod PlayStation 5 controller review, there's going to be a card that pops up on screen up at the top in the corner, and there's going to be a link down below in the description. Go ahead and watch that video because I really go in depth about the build quality of these controllers. And let me tell you, the Mega Mods controllers are a premium gaming controller, top notch, built with attention to detail in mind, very strong, very robust can endure many hours of gaming as well the only comment that i do have is regarding these back paddles yes they are perfectly placed very ergonomic very easy to use listen to that very very responsive as well but for those of you who have watched my tutorial video on how to install these back paddles you will know that i ended up adding some foam padding to the back of each paddle giving it extra support when gaming because as you can see i press down it clicks activating the paddle but i could keep flexing and pressing it down until it reaches the bottom shell i don't like that amount of flex too much for me personally so i went ahead and i added some foam padding definitely helps give it that support that it needs and it feels great to use as well mega mods that can be a future design improvement for these controllers if you do decide to go that route i want credit though because you heard it from me first for those of you wondering exactly what these advanced back buttons gives me extra and how they could be beneficial well for starters it gives you the ability to pick between two different sub modes for the back paddles sub mode number one is a straight remap a mimic function sub mode number two is a turbo function continuous button pressing or button smashing and for those of you who are about to ask yes you are able to customize the values of how quickly it constantly presses the button which is great you're also able to turn on or off the back paddles for those of you who have the built-in mods you are now able to set up the back paddles as an on or off function for the mods let's face it sometimes you don't always want the mods being activated they could actually hurt you in the game now you have the ability to have a paddle set as an on or off feature press the paddle turn off the mods and when needed press the paddle again to turn them back on while you are gaming this is huge and i love that they brought this great great idea now let's get to the tutorial part of this video i'm going to show y'all how to remap the back paddles how to switch between the different sub modes how to customize timings how to apply the mods and how to set up the back paddles as an on or off function let's get to it before we dive deeper and explore the capabilities of this controller there are a few important things that we need to note starting with the mod button this button will be used to pretty much do every action on the controller from remapping the back paddles to applying the mods second are the two back paddles and third are the led screens these screens will light up and indicate what we're doing with the controller the left hand side is going to indicate what we're doing with the advanced back buttons and then the second led screen to the right will indicate which mods we are applying to remap the paddles you must first press and hold the mod switch then press and hold the paddle that you want to remap then press and hold the stock button that you wanted to mimic let's go ahead and remap the right paddle press and hold mod switch press and hold right paddle press and hold cross a couple of seconds the leds will flash and the top right led will stay lit signifying that our right paddle has been mapped repeat the exact same process using the left paddle to remap it and you'll notice the top left led will stay lit which signifies that the left paddle has been mapped to change sub modes make sure your paddles are mapped choose the paddle that you want to change sub modes for then press and hold mod switch press and hold that paddle for a few seconds release leds will flash entering us into the sub mode picker then l2 and r2 are used to pick sub modes and then press the mod switch to save let's go ahead and change sub modes for the right paddle press and hold mod switch press and hold that right paddle a few seconds release leds flash entering us into the sub mode picker then l2 and r2 are used to decrease and increase through the sub modes signified by the flashing lights press the mod switch to save to adjust timings make sure your paddles are mapped and then the second sub mode then you're going to press and hold mod switch press and hold the paddle that you want to adjust timings for then quickly press the mod switch again press the ps button release entering us into programming mode then we can either 
tap the paddle to adjust the off button timings or press and hold the paddle for two seconds to adjust the on button timings. Then we're going to use R2 and L2 to adjust timings and pressing the mod switch to save. I'm going to go ahead and adjust timings for the right paddle. Press and hold mod switch, press and hold right paddle for a few seconds. Release and quickly press and hold the mod switch again and press the PS button release. It's going to enter us into programming mode. I'm going to press and hold the right paddle to adjust the on button timings. Next, I'll use the R2 and L2 to increase or decrease my seconds, which is indicated by the lit LEDs accordingly. Once satisfied, press the mod switch. Next, I'm going to adjust my hundredths of a millisecond again using R2 and L2 to increase or decrease. The lit LEDs will light up accordingly. Once satisfied, press the mod switch. Next, we will adjust the tenths of a millisecond again using R2 and L2. Once happy, press the mod switch to save. To turn on or off a paddle, start by pressing and holding the mod switch and tapping the paddle that you want to turn on or off. So let's go ahead, press mod switch, tap the left paddle to turn off and you'll see the LED changes to the lower slot which signifies that it's off. Repeat the same process to turn it back on. To turn the mods on or off, consult the user manual to know the correct button combination for the mod that you want. And yes, you are able to have multiple mods on at the same time. The LED board will light up according to how many mods you have and it is color coordinated. So let's go ahead, turn on the rapid fire mod, press the mod switch, tap R2, LED light will light up signifying that that mod has been activated. Repeat the same process to turn on other mods that you choose. To use the paddles as an on off switch for the mods, we must first understand that there are two categories of mods, shooting mods and specialty mods. In order to configure the paddles as an on off switch, start off by pressing and holding the mod switch, then pressing and holding the paddle that you want to set. Then you can either double tap R1 for shooting mods or double tap L1 for specialty mods. Let's go ahead and configure the right paddle. Press and hold mod switch, press and hold right paddle, double tap R1 for shooting mods. Now, when I press the right paddle, the LED light will flash on the shooting mods, which signifies that they have been deactivated. Press it again to turn it back on. Repeat the same process, but with the other paddle, double tapping L1 to set the left paddle as a specialty mod on off switch. You can have both set at the same time. To master reset the controller, press and hold the mod switch, press and hold PS button, release. The LEDs will shine in white. Quickly press PS button again and down D pad to master reset. So let's go ahead and do so. Press and hold mod switch, press and hold PS button, release, quickly press PS button and down D pad. The LEDs will flash in a sequence, master resetting the controller. Now that you have your controller all set up, all that's left to do is to game. I want you all to have fun and enjoy gaming. That's the most important part and never forget that. For those who have previously watched my Mega Mods PlayStation 5 controller review, you already know that I highly recommend these products. Their build quality is second to none. Attention to detail is perfect. Solid product design all around. Very robust. Will endure many hours of gaming. And now with these added cool new features and customization options, there is a controller design to suit everyone's play style. Whether it be a full-on esports controller or a modded controller or anything in between. You name it. They have it. And they have just taken that step above the rest so great job mega mods and let me tell you if they continue on this path their controllers will be the industry standard and the go-to controller in the gaming community mark my words i see that happening they are working very very hard i am very happy and proud to be part of their journey many great things to come with mega mods for sure and as i said before there's going to be many review videos to come. I will be reviewing each back button style that you could have. It's gonna give you great insight of which route to go with, which options to have. And let me tell you, I'm gonna have a load of fun making these videos and I hope you all are going to enjoy them. If you're looking to design and scoop up a custom controller of your own, do not forget to click on my referral link found down below my description. It's automatically gonna bring you to their page and apply the discount code for you. For those of you who have already used my code, thank you so much for the support, I appreciate it. For those of you who will use my code in the future, you guys are awesome. Thank you for the support, it means a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you have any 
questions about what I spoke about in today's video or anything for that matter, feel free to leave a comment down below and hit me up on social media. It is always a pleasure to hear from you guys and it is a pleasure to help you all out. If you all enjoyed watching this video, make sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below and share with your friends, greatly appreciated. If you are new to my channel, check me out for the very first time. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with my content and don't forget to press that bell to become part of my notification squad. Shout out to the sponsors. Thank you for your continued support. It is appreciated. Shout out to the Sparrow Troopers as well. You guys are awesome. Keep being amazing. Many, many more awesome videos to come. Everyone have a great rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this video. And I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.